I gotta see some chicken dumplings. So how do we make it here? We bake the chickens for Wednesday. We have baked chicken on the menu. My dad wanted to incorporate leftovers into um, an entree, not to waste the food, so he started doing chicken and dumplings. Cram everybody in. Put a little water in the pan to kind of braise it, and I'm gonna coat it with a little margarine so that the seasoning sticks. Salt, black pepper, chili powder, brown sugar, a little paprika. Pop in the oven. 350 for about an hour and 20 to an hour and 30 minutes. Pull that out, drain it. That'll get shredded, and we'll start building the gravy. Yeah. Got it. We're gonna start off with a little margarine, melt that down, saute a little celery. We're gonna do a little onion. When he says little, he's little. <laughs> A lot of garlic. You're getting a lot of the seasoning that's already been in here. In the chicken. Yes, yeah, the leftover drippings from the baked chicken. Stir that around. After all the vegetables have been sauteed, you can add some water to it. More garlic. Very nice. We like the garlic here. Black pepper, white pepper, poultry seasoning, which is okay. got you know, a little sage. The sage, big key. Mix those seasonings. Add a little chicken base. Chicken flavor and salt. The next thing we add is the chicken. A lot of big flavor coming out of the bones and the uh, skin. Yeah, pull the chicken for about 45 minutes to an hour. So you're going to cook in this and fortify this stock. Yep. Strain that out so you supplement what you have left over from Wednesday. Exactly. Got it? Now we've got our clear stock ready to yeah. work with. Now we're gonna make the dumplings. Dig it? I do my all-purpose in self-rising. I'm wearing black, you have flour, I'm gonna stand back. You're using a combo, because all-purpose wouldn't rise, it would just make a hard rock. Yeah. Sprinkle a pinch of salt. Please tell me that is straight up lard. Oh, this is straight up lard. Yes. This is where you're gonna get that real unctuous flavor. We're basically making biscuits. We're gonna cut that lard into that flour and tighten it up with some ice water. Yeah. We got the right consistency here. Now we'll flour the board, roll it out, make the dumpling. You got it. You got a rolling pin, son? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Look at that, how long has that been around? It says it right there, it says legally stolen from Abe Lincoln. And it's important we put a little extra flour on them because it helps the uh, stock thicken up. You're not too worried that it's exact size. You just wanna make sure they don't stick together. Yeah. If you look at this little square right now this thing's gonna become about that big about that big around it's gonna be awesome add these in here got to stir them immediately right off the bat it'll stick you got it look how they start to puff up i want to eat that it's cooked for about 15 to 20 minutes then when there's about 10 minutes left we're gonna add the chicken so the chicken heats back up just take the whole pan dump it in there why not good to go that's how we do it oh man oh. it's thickened up real good look at that that's a good looking dumpling right there mm. That's about as old school as you're gonna find them. All right. Some of that roasted chicken in there, mmm. I'm just stoned so I can shovel it all in. <laughs> it's a nice day out. These are good spoons. <laughs> Creaminess, tender chunks of chicken. I almost finished the whole bowl in that time. Good nice stuff. Job, Appreciate it, man. Chicken dumplings are really, really good. Like Michael Black, my grandmother.